So with both Sony and Microsoft pushing the HDR technology and its benefits, I suspect a lot of people may be looking to upgrade their television soon. Uh, you know, with the holidays coming up, Black Friday, a lot of sales, a lot of discounts are going to be happening. But I wanted to warn you because you probably don't want to go just buy the first HDR TV set that you see on sale. Not all HDR TVs are created equal. And just because it has HDR on it, does not mean that it's going to actually work well with your PlayStation or your Xbox One S. There are a lot of things to consider. Uh, so one, you need to think about the type of screen that you're getting, whether it's OLED, LCD, LED, what's the quality of the HDR. Some sets are going to have lower standards than others, which means that you're not going to have the vibrant colors that some TV sets can have. The contrast, the brightness, the darkness levels are going to be different. What kind of input lag does it have? This is something really big if you're going to be using it for gaming. So some TVs have game modes that reduce the input lag, but a lot of times the game mode actually reduces the quality of what you see on screen, which is kind of, you know, going against why you're going out and getting one of these TVs. Like that's why you want to upgrade is because you want to have a better looking set. And then some TVs only display HDR content in certain modes outside of the game mode. So for instance, the Samsung KS7000 series has a 21 millisecond input lag inside the game mode, which is great if you're gonna be doing 4K gaming. But for HDR, it only works in movie mode. And so the input mode there uh, it has an input lag of 112 milliseconds. So we are talking about a huge leap in input lag simply to get HDR content playing through that TV. So that one might be great for 4K television. It might be great for 4K gaming. But if you want to play it in HDR you might want to consider another TV set. So this can, of course, be a really big headache for a lot of people because some people are just overwhelmed by all these different things that they have to figure out. But there are some sites who have made it really easy, who have done all the homework for you. If you have a certain site that you like, feel free to link it down below in the description box. Uh, this is one of the sites that I found that I really enjoy how they list everything down. I'm not affiliated with this site in any way whatsoever. I just like how they write their TV sets and so they've got like the best 4k TVs they've got the best HDR TVs but what we're interested in is the best HDR gaming TVs which they have an article on so what I wanted to do was just kind of go through show you some of their TVs that they selected as some of the best ones that you can get if you've got an Xbox one S or you're thinking about getting the ps4 pro or a ps4 that you're wanting to use HDR with then these are some of the best ones that they recommend not saying that you know if you get any one besides these, you're going to be stuck with something that sucks. They're just saying these are some of the best ones that they reviewed. So we'll start off with the budget TVs and work our way up to the higher end ones. First up is the Samsung KU6300 series. Uh, it comes in a variety of different sizes, starting below $500 for a 40 inch, going all the way up to 70 inch. Now this TV doesn't get the best rating when it comes to the picture quality, but the input lag is really good. And something else that you have to consider whenever you're looking at a lot of these professional reviewer websites for TVs, uh, they may knock off stuff like the, the picture quality, things like that. And you got to remember that these people are professionals. This is what they do for a living. So they're going over every little pixel with a fine tooth comb. My dad is one of those people who calibrate his TV. He tries to make everything absolutely perfect. We'll be trying to watch a movie and he's sitting there flipping between different things and options saying, you know, which one looks better. And I'm the guy who's like, half the time I can't even tell a difference I'm just like let's just watch the movie you know and to me the picture quality is great and and so for that you got to remember that some people are going to be a lot more picky when it comes to this they're not saying that even whenever the picture quality is bad that it's absolutely horrible it's just saying that compared to other TVs out there you can get a better picture quality but for most people I doubt that they would even know the difference, you know. I doubt most people are going to look at this set, for instance, a brand new TV, and say this is ugly. Uh, so keep that in mind when we're talking about all these different reviews out there. 
Next up is the Sony X8000D series. This one comes in 43 and 49 inch displays. It is a bit more expensive. Uh, Amazon has this half off right now, 50% off, and it still comes in at $650. But for the price, the quality is better than the Samsung that we just mentioned. It has a wider color gamut, so you're gonna see different colors that you're not able to produce on that previous TV that we had just walked over. And so the input lag is also low when playing games. So again, for a budget TV, this is one that you definitely probably wanna look at. Uh, moving on to the higher end TVs, the Samsung KS8000 series has gotten really good reviews. It's one of the lowest input lags you can get for a high end TV and it comes in 49, 55, 60 and 65 inch screens. Amazon currently has this 30% off, but even for the 49 inch TV, you're looking at over a thousand dollars. And I mean, with the top of the line TV, you're going to get better quality, but you're going to pay for it as well. Uh, top of the line TV that they have, the one that they recommend the most is the LG B6 series. This is an OLED screen, so that's going to be a lot better quality, but you're also again going to pay for it. This comes in 55 and 65 inch screens, and even though it's 43% off currently on Amazon, it's still over $2,000. Uh, the input lag also is a little bit higher than other TVs listed. And so again, just because you buy the highest price TV there is, it doesn't mean that you're getting the best features of everything. Uh, so there's going to be, you know, give and take there. And with OLED, uh, from what I understand, maybe it's this technology just because it's a little bit newer, they still haven't sorted everything out. Uh, and that's maybe why the input lag is a little bit higher than some of the other TVs. But again, it's OLED, so the quality of your screen is gonna be fantastic. And they even even mentioned that even though the input lag isn't the greatest, it's still low enough to where most people aren't going to notice, not unless you're like some MLG Pro. So those are just some of the best TVs that they selected on this particular website. Here's a chart of all the TVs they tested so you can kind of see how each one compares. Uh, and also these are the ones that support HDR10, which is what PS4 and Xbox One S support. So that's another thing that you wanna make sure that your TV is capable of doing. Again, there's ton of things to consider, even the size of your TV, you know, the further back, that you sit from your screen, the bigger your screen needs to be in order for you to see the 4K difference. Uh, so that's something else to keep in mind, but hopefully this will help you out a little bit. I'm gonna leave links to everything down below. I'll also leave links to this website, of course, as well as some of the more popular TVs on Amazon that you can go check out. But as everything in life goes, do your homework before just running out, grabbing the first thing you see just because it's on sale, just because it's a good price and it has HDR written on it. This is something that you're going to be investing a lot of money in and it's also something that you're probably going to be stuck with for several years so post your thoughts down below that does it for me the red dragon i'll see you next time thanks for watching are you listening damn